Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. Now, a number of you have shared uh, the stories with me uh, concerning uh, this really gross trend where people are going into grocery stores and they are doing really unsanitary, unnecessary, unscrupulous, nasty things to food and putting it back on shelves. Now, we first saw the girl who licked the ice cream and then she put it back on the shelf. Uh, she was caught and apparently is possibly facing 20 years in prison. But did that deter others? No, it did not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a short clip of another uh, instance where someone has done something so gross in a grocery store. As a matter of fact, there are two others that I've heard of. I have a clip for one. Uh, one was a, a, a man a white man who um, opened up some Arizona tea and he spit in the tea and put the, the top back on, put it back in the cooler and he's laughing. He thinks it's funny. These people that are doing these things think that they are doing something funny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and roll the clip of this other incident that was shared with me where a woman is in the produce section of a grocery store and climbing her behind on top of the food and rubbing the food on her body. OK, I'll roll the clip and I'll be right back. Now, as you can see from the clip, um, something very, very unscrupulous is happening there. Gross. At a gross restore. You get it? Gross restore. G-R-O-S-S. -S. See? Okay. People are doing these things, and a lot of us don't understand that it's not just a dare. It's not just um, people that are wanting to become famous on the Internet. There are spirits dealing with people. There is a foul spirit that is causing people to do this because they know that fluids from their body or food products making contact with their body is something that is very gross and very unsanitary. They're letting you know that their bodies and their body fluids are unsanitary, but they want to make contact with food that others are eating. And they are being filmed doing these things. You have to understand that normal people don't do these things. These people are being controlled because if you notice, especially the young woman who licked the ice cream and the, and the man who spit into the tea, they made no attempts or efforts whatsoever to hide their identity. And the young woman in the grocery store, it looks like a manager or, or something approached her and was saying, ma'am, you can't do this. But she climbs her big behind up there and she is all over food that people are going to eat. They're going to have to remove, clear that whole shelf off. Can you imagine the number of times where we may have gone grocery shopping someplace and someone may have picked up a piece of fruit and licked it and put it back? Who knows what's happening with this food, even in uh, the processing plants where some things are boxed or canned or jarred? You have people doing things at that point of contact with food as well. So for me, this is a great selling point for growing your own at home. As much as we can do for ourselves, family, we need to learn how to do that. Now, I know that we can't 100 percent do it at this point. That is a work or stages that we must take or steps that we must take. But we must definitely make the efforts because there are some really gross 
things happening in the world today. People don't care. They're being caught. They're being filmed doing this and they just don't care. This is because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness, against principalities in high places. These people are being controlled. This is not normal behavior. And so all I can say at this point, family, is be careful. If we have to eat this stuff, we definitely have to pray over it. Okay, we definitely have to pray, definitely have to pray over it. But we must also consider going back to the old ways. And the old ways are the good old days of growing your own food. It is what it is, family. And with that, I will say shalom. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also comment, share, like, and subscribe.